to News from the Sound, a weekly cooperative effort between BCTV and the Sound newspaper. I'm Nicole Ball, and here are your highlights from the Sound's June 3rd issue. For 100 years, the Visiting Nurse Association has been serving the greater Brantford community, and the association has decided it's time to celebrate. Started in 1910 in Brantford, the association's first nurse, Miss Maud Britt, made 123 house calls during her first month of work. The VNA Community Health Care is now located in Guilford and serves towns from Brantford to Old Saybrook. The Sounds Person of the Week just might show you a side of Brantford you had never seen before. Brantford native Greg Robbins, who is a realtor, has re-energized a monthly cooperative now known as the Real Estate Broker Tour and Network Group. With effort between town departments, business owners, and realtors, Robbins promotes Brantford real estate while learning more about our town's resources and the unique quality of life here. Find out what his town tours are all about this week in the Sound and online at www.zippo6.com. Though there's been plenty of talk about the planned improvements to the school ground road bridge, it's looking like construction won't begin for another two to three years. In the meantime, find out what the community is saying about this two-lane bridge that co connects Route 139 to Route 1, and feel free to leave your comments below this story on Brantford's homepage of www.zippo6.com. Just a week ago, the Sound News team was the recipient of 17 awards at the annual Connecticut Society of Professional Journalist Awards ceremony. Writers, designers, and photographers took home five firsts, eight seconds, and four honorable mentions. Your regular reporter, Pam Johnson, took second place in the feature series with her Person of the Week stories, Masters of Music, and won honorable mention for her in-depth series, Should the Town Fire Tenured Teacher. In sports, the Brantford Girls Outdoor Track Team took seventh place at the Southern Connecticut Conference Championship with Molly Peranda winning the Javelin and Jocelyn Markovitz taking second in the same event. Meanwhile, Brantford boys took eighth place. For the second year in a row, the Brantford girls lacrosse team needed a great home stretch to reach the state tournament, and for the second straight year, that's exactly what the team did. The Hornets claimed victory in their final two games, defeating Mercy 21-9 and Amity 14-11 to reach the Class M bracket with a mark of 8-8. Eight eight. However, preceding the states, the team lost in the Southern Connecticut Conference Championships. The Hornets' Rebecca Crookston is the Sound's Sports Person of the Week. Find out how she worked through her high school track career to become one of the best hurdlers in BH history this week in the paper and online at www.zippo6.com. And this week in living, find out how you can take a trip to Ireland without leaving the state. On June 26th and 27th, head to North Haven Fairgrounds for the annual Connecticut Irish Festival, featuring sheep herding, traditional and new age Celtic music and dance, as well as food and sports of Ireland. There will be events and entertainment all weekend, including Gaelic football and hurling games, as well as a 5K road race. Pick up this week's sound or find the story online to learn more about the festival. If you're headed to the movies this weekend, find out if City Island is worth a trip. The Sounds Review finds the movie to be a charmer. Of course, you can always decide for yourself. In fact, submit your 10-word movie review to living editor Merith, Meredith Crawford at m.crawford at shorepublishing.com. This week, Jen Mattis of Brantford said in her 10-word review of Iron Man 2, if I had a magic suit, I'd punch the director. In this week's Parents' Eye View column, Amy J. Barry tackles the sensitive subject of childhood obesity. And in other columns, Lee White explains why the taste of tiramisu reminds her of returning home to the Jersey Shore. And don't worry, she also offers a recipe, too, in her latest installment of a la carte. And this week on the web, Zippo6 wants to know how you spent Memorial Day. Whether you snapped photos of your local parade or got great shots of your backyard barbecue, submit a photo gallery online now to the user galleries on Brantford's homepage of www.zippo6.com. And if you're not already a user, you can sign up now. It's free. And the Brantford police officers will be holding their 19th annual Tip a Cop event to benefit Connecticut Special Olympics. Come down to Lenny's Restaurant on June 9th and see if these cops come waiters have what it takes to refill your soda with speed. Get the full story online now in Brantford's news section. And that's it from News from the Sound this week. We'll see you next week.